Hello, this is Gary Schnitke, and this is a 5-Minute Farm Doc Daily dealing with nitrogen fertilizer prices and supply in light of the Ukraine-Russia conflict. Nitrogen fertilizer prices have increased dramatically, particularly since the summer of 2021. We saw those for nitrogen fertilizer prices in the $700 to $800 per ton range, and those have increased pretty much since then. The last reading we had was at $1,516 per ton, and that was in late March of 2023. Those uh, prices have been above $1,500 since February, so as of right now, the Russian-Ukraine conflict hasn't impacted those prices much, but we expect those prices to increase in the future. And hydrous ammonia prices typically are related to two major prices. The first is natural gas. Natural gas is a major ingredient in the production of nitrogen fertilizers. So as nitrogen fertilizer prices go up, you expect to see higher anhydrous ammonia prices. The other one is corn. And typically as corn prices go up, you see higher anhydrous ammonia prices. We developed a simple model that looked at that, including those factors and lagged ammonia price when we predicted or looked at current ammonia price. That model explains anhydrous ammonia prices well up to October 2021. Corn and natural gas prices do a remarkable job with corn prices being more important than natural gas. However, in November 2021, those prices began to diverge. And in fact, in November 2021, we saw a $400 higher actual price than what we would predict. And that's a, that's a large, large value that differs from what we've seen in any period from 2008 on. As we're looking at that, before t October 2021, we can say that the typical factors that impacted all corn price and natural gas price also were in the play. And if you're looking at those corn and natural gas prices went up, and you can associate it with that a number of things, including the COVID pandemic and its responses, which really stretched supply change and change demand, and also general price inflation. Price inflation has occurred because of COVID and also because of federal stimulus and anemic federal policy combating that, uh, that, that, that price inflation. After November, other factors appear to be impacting those prices, and you could list several. There were plant closures in the United States caused by planned maintenance and Hurricane Ida. And though Hurricane Ida, Ida shuttered plants in Louisiana after it hit there. There was also an anti-dumping suit uh, brought by CF Industries uh, against Trinidad and Tobago and Russia. Also, and probably most importantly, there was a divergence of natural gas prices in the U.S. and Europe. U.S. and Europe natural gas prices began to diverge and became quite large after July of 2021. There has been a great difference in natural gas situation in the U.S. and Europe. U.S. has relatively good supplies due to fracking, and Europe is relying more and more on natural gas as it attempts to reduce its use of fossil fuels and nuclear power. As it does so, it you relied on natural gas as a bridge fuel, and much of that comes from Russia. Europe currently gets 40% of its supply from Russia, and that supply did not keep up with its demands in 2021. As a result, a number of plants closed natural nitrogen production in Europe in October and November, and that led to redirecting of supplies and much higher supplies around the world. There has been a great deal of emphasis on placed on the response of North American producers. There are four major ones, CF Industries, Nutrien, Coke Industries, and Iowa Fertilizer Companies. There is concern that they have market power and that they may be increasing price in this situation. However, 
Factors outside of those companies' control have led to the, these higher prices as well, and that would be the COVID pandemic, uh, general price inflation, and the, the divergence in natural gas prices between Europe and the United States, and now the Ukraine-Russia war. We would expect that conflict to have major impacts on natural, nat, natural gas and nitrogen prices as Russia is a major supplier of both of those uh, commodities. In particular, that could cause a redirection of supply from North America and, where, and, and the producers that provide North America. 12% of the fertilizer, nitrogen fertilizer used in the United States comes from outside of the United States with Trinidad and Tobago being a major source of that. As other countries need fertilizer, and that would include Brazil, Brazil imports much of its nitrogen fertilizer with 20% of that coming from Russia. If they need to look for a new supply, they could look for, for that supply from the United States and, as well, Trinidad and Tobacco. In any case, that is likely to have increases in, in nit nitrogen prices here. It is, however, fortunate that we do have a relatively robust North American fertilizer industry because we are in a dramatically different place than Europe and Brazil, and we also have a relatively plentiful supply of natural gas. So the, the, the impacts of those, while they will be large, are likely to be less large than, say, in Brazil and Western Europe. This Russian-Ukraine situation is likely to be more impactful for 2023 production than for 2022 production. Most American farmers have had their plans made for production and have often have most of their inputs bought for the 2022 year. So the 2023 year is when we're going to begin to really see the impacts, more of the impacts of this, other than just the simple decline in farm income as a result of higher natural, natural gas and nitrogen prices. You can read more about this in my Farm Doc Daily, which is linked to the video description listed below.